Talking prep softball tonight, Green Bay Preble is off to a great start. 21 and 2, and until yesterday, they hadn't lost a game all year to an in-state opponent. That was until Bayport got them 2 nothing on Thursday night. But the Hornets are on top of the FRCC and rank third statewide. John Miller has the story on Preble and its star sophomore pitcher. We're still shuffling the deck. Here we are 22 or three games into the season and we're still looking at players, moving players, because we have a lot of talent and a lot of kids deserve a chance. The Hornets have become the cream of the crop in the FRCC as they are on the verge of winning their third straight conference title if they can beat De Pere next week. Three Pete. Sounds good. <laughs> it's got a good ring to it. Now. Yeah, it does. A key to their success, dominant pitching. We knew we had great pitching, but this has been even maybe better than we thought. Honestly, seeing the player that she's becoming is absolutely incredible, but just seeing her do her thing on the mound, it's fun to watch. Preble has a bulldog on the mound. Sophomore Katie Geideshek, the sophomore 17 and two on the year, her ERA 0.39. Her stat line is the truth. Uh, she's pitching like no other. She has the ability, but then that drive and that grit and that uh, emotional uh, stability to, to just grind. As a freshman last year, she wasn't the ace, but she pitched 60 innings with a dominant 0.66 ERA. We knew what we had, but she really did step up. We couldn't believe, you know, you'd hope to make those sort of advances, but the advances she made from freshman to sophomore year are pretty spectacular. She may be intimidating on the mound, but she also provides her team some comic relief. I think there's a cheese in my shoe. <laughs> I'm not kidding. When I'm up on the mound, I have a game face on, but when you see me in the dugout, I'm the complete opposite, always giggling. And the Hornets may have lost their first conference game Thursday at the hands of Bayport, but it's something they can grow from. I felt like the loss was like good for us because we'd rather lose now than later in the year. And I just felt like now we know how to lose. Yeah, it would just make it easier when we get to regionals and sectionals. In Green Bay, John Miller, NBC 26.